Hi, Dr. Joe here. I've recovered from my travel, so I'm feeling a lot better and probably won't be so sleepy now. I'm here today to talk about things in terms of accuracy of glucose monitoring that virtually anybody with diabetes does. Uh, they talk in this particular issue, practical diabetology, on the first thing you can see here of interest is improving accuracy of blood glucose in self-monitoring situations. This is really good. It's about a five-page article, and it does a lot of good things. But it doesn't talk about the things that are most important because the meter has to be accurate. This is a sea change that's taking place now in diabetes. We have, and I've talked about it before, this telcare meter is something that is very important because it has a 1% to 3% accuracy. It is 19% among all the meters that I know, and I've testified in court about this as well, that 19% is like flipping a coin. And that's what we've been using for years and years and years and years. So it's really important to know that you have an accuracy in your meter. And ultimately, this is going to help us care for a lot of things because it'll be actually recorded in a place in New Jersey, a server, which will put it in a Excel spreadsheet and send it to me and you. This is going to be exciting in so many ways. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Because they've only got 30,000 in all of the United States out there, people using it. And they're all on the East Coast. It just couldn't roll out faster in the state of California and the like. But it will, and you're going to like it because this is going to be so good, you will really see it's going to be really exciting to take care of diabetes in lots of ways. It won't be around very long. See you then.